National Democrats are also watching developments from Virginia. Here's what Senator Jeff Merkley told me earlier when asked if Governor Northam should step down. I do feel that the, the governor's changing story uh, combined with the information about his nickname well, were very disturbing. I feel he's lost the confidence of the Democratic leaders in his Virginia House and Virginia Senate, and he should step down. Let's bring in Eugene Scott and Joel Payne. Eugene is a reporter for The Washington Post, and Joel is a Democratic strategist. Thank you both for being with us. Uh, Eugene, let me start with you. You write that, quote, if Democrats want to be the party of diversity, they need to push Northam out. What might Democrats risk if they don't? Well, they risk losing the governor's mansion uh, to the Republicans. Uh, when you look at the line of succession in Virginia, uh, the top three uh, offices are held by Democrats. The fourth, uh, I believe the Speaker of the uh, House in the legislature is a Republican. Um, and then after that, uh, the legislators vote on who should become governor. And the legislature is controlled by Republicans. So they certainly do risk power and influence. But uh, what they currently have uh, with a governor um, and an attorney general specifically who have both confessed to be doing blackface in their youth uh, are leaders who they just do not trust to be sensitive to the issues uh, that black Virginians consider foremost uh, as they're moving forward in this current political climate. So South Carolina Senator Tim Scott also weighed in on what's happening in Virginia. Here's what he said on Wednesday. I think issues of race are not partisan issues, they're issues of the human heart. So. I think it's interesting that for a long time people have tried to pose this or prop this up as a Republican issue and we're finding out today it's a human issue and it's unfortunate that we're finding this out um, so late in the game but it's uh, obviously an important issue and I hope that people figure out how to do the right thing as soon as possible. So Senator Scott is the only black Republican in the Senate. Joel, how much work does the Democratic Party still need to do when it comes to issues of race? Oh, listen, this is a national challenge, right? The, I don't think anybody who has been paying attention thought that this was simply a Republican issue. Um, I'm sure Eugene has done a lot of reporting on this. And as two black men, we've lived it. This is not just an issue isolated to the Republican Party. Um, Ed gave a wonderful summary there, and I would just disagree with one thing he said. He said that the uh, governor had not shown any mental incapacitation. I have to disagree. He's out of his mind if he thinks he can stay in office. He's got to go. That's the first step here. Governor Northam has to vacate his office. Um, he, every national Democrat who matters, the Democratic National Committee, um, the four senior Democrats in the state of Virginia outside of the lieutenant governor all asked him to step down. I think that Governor Northam has to go. Um, I think that obviously there are a lot of questions about Lieutenant Governor Fairfax and Attorney General Herring, which are all fair. But I think the first step here is Governor Northam needs to take his cue and exit stage right. So Governor Northam, Joel, says that he doesn't believe that he's in the racist photo uh, on his yearbook page. Does that matter? I mean, listen, um, at a minimum, we know he has acknowledged that he did dress up, uh, quote, as Michael Jackson prior to that. We also know that he had a very, um, let's just say, crude nickname um, that has been attributed to him as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's enough smoke here to realize that at a minimum, Governor Northam has shown some poor judgment around this in the past. And I would just say this, you know, I think the best tweet I've seen on this, this entire discussion we've had over the last 96 hours has been by uh, Governor Hickenlooper of Colorado who said, you know, we can't tell the sum total of who Ralph Northam is from this, but we know he doesn't have the judgment and he doesn't have the moral authority to lead. And I think that's where a lot of people are. I'm, I'm not here to say that Ralph Northam Northam is an awful human being. I'm just here to say he doesn't have the moral authority to leave Virginia right now. Uh, Eugene, have and, her and I was, go ahead. I was going to say, and I was going to say related to that, and not only uh, does he not have the moral authority to many Democrats and other public officials, he simply does not have the confidence of black Virginians, especially those in the legislature. I think it's worth noting that I do not believe I was wearing blackface. It's completely different from I was not wearing blackface. Mm -hmm. And because he cannot say the latter, there are real issues about whether or not he can work on policy issues that will improve the quality of life of black Virginians. And uh, Eugene, have Herring and Northam dealt with their blackface controversies in different ways so far? 
Yeah, absolutely. One thing that's interesting, and I wrote about this for The Fix at The Washington Post, is that Herring originally called for Northam to resign. Mm -hmm. uh, but when Herring eventually realized that he also had a photo of him wearing black blackface, he simply apologized. He did not call for himself uh, to resign. Perhaps that is because he knows that if Northam resigns, he gets to be lieutenant governor. But it makes little sense to many people I've spoken to that if wearing blackface disqualifies one for one, one political position, how it wouldn't disqualify one for another. All right, a story that we're going to continue to watch. Joel Payne, thank you. Eugene Scott, stay with us.